Ah, <laughs> seriously, it sucks. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean to be catty, but you're obviously not a professional actress. <laughs> and it showed. Yeah. You know, you, you, you didn't have a clue what was going on inside of Felix's head. You know? Actors used to call subtext, Bob. Or oh, um, inner monologue, this, this kind of thing. Exactly. And, th and that's what you didn't have, and that's why your performance was a little bit flat and one-dimensional and a little bit boring. Hey, 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 but no, no, no. You showed a lot of bravery, you showed a lot of heart, you showed what uh, Shakespeare would call chutzpah. <laughs> hey, guys, I, you know what? I, th I think we should workshop this. Ooh, oh, yeah, we got a real happy moment here. Yeah. 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 Bob, Bob, can we have the lights up for a second? Oh, great. You okay. Love this. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, there you yeah. are. Why don't we get the audience to uh, to act out all the things that are going on inside of Feel Your Brain to create like a, a real supporting environment for, for Bob here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like uh, like the the id, the ego, and the super ego. Oh, like a Freudian analysis. Yeah, like Freudian allergies. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the id. I'll get the ego. Hi. Would you mind helping us out? Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Now you are gonna be. Ophelia's ego, okay? Now at this point in the play, I know this, <laughs> I've worked at it, uh, her ego is, is flighty, it's confused, it's all over the place. It's, uh, it's kind of like an ego on the run. Yeah, so we like to symbolize this, Bob. Um, do you mind if I call you Bob? Great. Uh, we like to symbolize this by literally running back and forth on stage in front of Ophelia. Okay? So let's give that a quick go now, just a trial run. <laughs> right, ready, on your marks, go! Go, 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 If uh, everybody in the front uh, three rows, you're going to be Ophelia's id. Now, at this point of the play, the id is very mixed up. It's uh, wishy-washy. It's, uh, it's a wash and a sea of alternatives, if you will. So, in order to uh, demonstrate this, what I'd like you to do is put, your, put your, your hands in the air. That's it. I want you to wave from side to side. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I want you to say, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. No one's watching. <laughs> Go. <laughs> and the word <laughs> made me <laughs> not <laughs> does not play well with other children. <laughs> Okay, now I think there's a lot of love in this room tonight, okay? Now, everybody behind the first three rows, you are going to be a Felix super ego, okay? Now, this is the final psychological component. Now, the super ego, they're the, the really powerful moralistic voices that are telling us what to do all the time, you know? They're, they're really difficult to shake. I mean, some people take their whole lives trying to shake them. It's kind of like being a Republican, for example. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna divide you into three. So, <laughs> Jess, maybe you can help me here? Okay. Yep. Okay, so everybody from the far side over to, let's say, the yep. second person in there, so yep. that side. You are gonna be section A. From here over to about here, this row here, you're section B. And here off the far side, you are section B. B. <laughs> Wanna move? <laughs> section C, okay? So it's not that difficult. Okay, now section A, you are gonna be the, the masculine part of Ophelia's superego, okay? The, the animus, so to speak. Now, to express this, I want you to say, get thee to a nunnery, okay? So after three, let's give it a go. One, two, three! Get thee to a nunnery! Section A, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> He's boss. He's a, he's a harsh critic. I mean, come on, guys. You know, we, we're doing this for Bob here. You know, we get nothing out of this. Okay, so let's give it one more time. Strident, strong, and powerful. One, two, three. Get me to a nunnery. Yes, much less totally pathetic. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Now, section B. You are going to be the voice of Ophelia's vanity. Okay? So you're saying things like, uh, my God, do something with your hair, you know, put on some makeup. You're not going out like that, are you? <laughs> oh, uh, no offense. <laughs> Straight out of Shakespearean text. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to say is, because you're worth it, okay? <laughs> ah, 
So, after three, here we go. One, two, three. Because your butt hurts. I don't see the hand, people. You gotta do the hand. It's gotta come from the heart. Okay? You work very hard on this. Yeah. So, here we go. After three. One, two, three. Because your butt hurts. Hey, see, section A. What section B? Small, but they're plucky. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now section C. You're a little, little bit lightweight, but you're the most important component here. Because we're going to use you to bring Ophelia into the 21st century. Okay, because we want her to be relevant to the women of today. You know, because maybe she wants to be uh, powerful, but she also wants to retain her femininity. Who doesn't? <laughs> exactly. Uh, maybe she wants to be a corporate executive, but she wants to raise a family, have babies, you know? And maybe deep down in her psyche, she's, she's just tired of being that wayfish hippie chick and she just wants to, to break out and scream, cut the crap, Hamlet! My biological clock is ticking and I want babies now! I like that. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so section C, uh, we want you to say, Cut on the crap, Hamlet! My biological clock is ticking and I want babies now! Okay? Simple. So, after three, here we go. Section C. One, two, three! Cut the crap, Hamlet! My biological clock is ticking and I want babies now! Did they do it? No. I have got to. Okay. okay, one more time. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three! Happy crap, Hamlet. I love you, Susie, and I want babies now. Okay, okay. <laughs> we, we can work with that. <laughs> okay, now, come on. This, this now is where you come into the picture, okay? Because what we're going to do, we're going to get all these elements working together. The, the id, the ego, the super ego. Uh, the, the biological clock. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> and your job as an actress is uh, to synthesize <laughs> all of these elements together, okay? So when we build the room into a huge audio frenzy, okay, you'll be right in the middle of that and then we'll stop everything, all attention goes on you, and you let out with a scream that epitomizes the feet at that moment. You're looking really keen. I yeah, she's <laughs> now, uh, But remember, whatever happens, act natural. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the eagle. Yeah, okay, Bob, now's your moment. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go. Okay, everybody, front three rows, arms in the air, especially you. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Section A, moment we shared there, but we should never really get back to the plot of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Okay, act three, scene two, the famous play within a play scene where Hamlet finds irrefutable proof that his uncle murdered his father. on the tongue, through the action to the word, the word to the action, and hold, as it were, the mirror up to nature. Will my lord hear this piece of work? I am the king, too, presently. I know my cousin Hamlet and my son. A little more than kin, and less than kind. I have nothing with this answer. These words are not mine. Please be seated, my lord. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, the Royal Theatre of Denmark is proud to present the Merther of Gonzago. My lord, act one. Oh! 
Huh? Huh? <laughs> Intermission! <laughs> How likes my lord the play? The lady that protests too much, methinks. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't get it. Uh, my lord, act two. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> The king rises! You are the play! Lights away! Take the ghost's word for a thousand pounds! My lord, the queen would speak with you in her closet. I shall come with my mother. Behind the arras, I'll convey myself, thereby to discover the process. <laughs> 